Kolenga mbulo luku With whatever we do Jio ni safu no la With whatever we do Hale yide munyu skula Nye pamne ne kudlukula Nye pangi raga la gena Nye pamne ne kudlukula Ibulo ke nungoto ni beti sola Ibulo ke dato ni beto do Bengi Bengi kongo Lami Na Lami ke gune nuri nte nyame lami Kamuna ulo kono Gula kona nyita mo lami Pabi lengi Muna ngata afa mole Aha ina Ngata ngata Koto Koto ole Fabrama Mingi Baba nyole Muna ole Koto ole Fabrama Namu jumala kan kumwadi ten Fabrama Jumala mu Ndele ubare muso Koto Nunda mbara ara nunda mbara ara Kamu kata Jamba ni mbara 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 Eh, bari jamba ni vana nara mudo wala mbona kwa ndani Mkoto mmina haka nga lami nje fumfili tala Lami jive nore nyala Lami nje kile sila msamana ya bingye Yala so ozo nisa indi nwa ibongo lako mwomo Mkoto Naam Itiri nte alo ne lami nha kiko di hata baki karambu ngoto Anu sante ng Ministri kodi ni wole si suoko na Ama kiko ndo wole si yata Si bitu Si bitu Si bitu Si bitu Bago nani bago nani Si bitu Ala nige 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 Ala Ini kan lamin ki ulo kono nyintai mungko do Fede malo lamin nyante sila la bela mwe kala karamu Kama ni karamu wal mwe sorande nako Fazi ka ulo kono ko Baba Aa aa karamu wal mwe sorande Niko karamu wal sorande ama ke kom holi di elem Mungko do Dini wu nyante sila la ala karamu la mwe Yamen kabe mfwe Mankontande Mankontana anda mandi Ala nyin kombo kura Adanda ala kombo lendo lajan karamu wal mwe sorande nako Kama ni kura wama adara lo kombo Ito ndo lfana ina karamu wal sorande Yai karamu wal sorande Lamin adara lo nyino la Adanda fena sokon Ala mune ke la Lamin, il ne faut pas que tu ne te fasses pas de la radio. Tu ne fais 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 pas de la radio. Ah, faru danso, aku nak cuma belajar di subala, dengan aje di nol belajar. Jalan tanya kiri warol. Ah, ibe sering jalan. Saya lamin faran teku kiri wakai nol abang, but lamin bila kau ulo kono nyinta emo. Ah, lamin. Aman dalam fenna lah. Ite ni ite ni ni aku mau ni mana sih yang kau nasional lah mai rajut ibu balon lah. Mana kau? Afan lembang nyarang ini awam. Afan lembang cukup. Afan lembang mana kau? Ite balon tu lebih cukup. Ah, ni mana karam aku kele? Ya, je nanti karam nambah sama lah ya, ite rije. Kau niaran ni, kau mau kurang atau fikir aku mau? Ini nara jadi ni songka baik. Kau lamin mana dalam ulu? Kau kerana mual besar. Nafanya mana besar? Kau kau tu awal le nanti. Baru ngan le ni lamin, kuntal. Kau mau kurang atau kafan? Kau mau kurang asal total. Asal total awal aku ni kau esis suokono. Baru ni kau esis suokono. Ibe ibe kerana mual dike la rajo ni telal to. Kau ni telal masuk to. Tonya emas telal suatu labung. Baru rajo be bulan kau tu. Ha, bulan. Batu ni sanga esis ayam lama. Sabo kerana ni. Kau tu kerana ni. Sabo kerana ni. Kamu kenyari. Ada juga abu ulama lagi. Bagaimana falaji? Ibu nak karam dulu kalau jail. Tiga lebih ada juga orang mentera. Ah, ilah subjek tu baby jail. I baby jail. Ulama nak cuci cuci mui. Fadzan saya ulia. Mungkin mereka mereka nak dini mui jadi ikan dumbung orang mereka dalam mana? Asal tu tak ada. Lain malam mereka orang ada. Mari. Love tu ada. Ide alam ko. Ini every year second one lah first. Mana ni? Mana dia? Mana dia? Kau fon lesi ni lama. Mana lesi lama nama? Basah mba foke yang koto. Wole fomo yang mulin dia lo fomo kita. But you fon am bulat aku koto dalam ayi nanti jambi. Lamin yang tak karan, nanti lebih jiko bagi mereka. Ya bula ya kara, ulo kana tak kila ya bambalo. Yo be bula jeng koto dinungo si ayala ayala lesi no lama rajot. Orang kamu dah karamu orang masuk lamin yang nak kasi suara. Lamin yang nak sila le ayala lesi. Tidak ada kokor nak kos malu. Kila ada orang kau bintang aku mama. Saya mau bintang aku kira. Mengkiu berusaha. Mula nak korang dalam ada baru saya mau radio apa? Mau baru baru radio ni. Ha. Abang je lepas baru ngam rakaman ni mobil jan. Yo. Kalau jalan jalan baru ramu kafe ni mula. Lamin jaya dalam baru saya. Barai keku follow. Aji menori ni. Lamin temet. Tengok, <laughs> Kami pun korang, kami pun korang. Hehehe, jangan jangan tunggu file. Kau kerja baru nampak ni file orang ni tak? Iya, ada kerja baru pun korang. Bismi lah. Hehehe, bismi dia lah. Jangan pernah pendulala. Ye fungo tangkai si nado lu tangka. Hehehe, koro 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 ta. Hehehe, koro.
Good day, listeners and viewers. I am Samuel Emende. I'm back again with another lesson on excretion. Today, we are going to look at the liver. But before we look at the liver, the last lesson, I gave an assignment. And in the assignment, I said, uh, discuss the function of the skin as an excretory organ. Okay, we said we are going to discuss the function of the skin as an excretory organ. I hope you do your assignment and uh, here we are about to do the correction. We said, uh, one, we said the function of the skin. The skin protects the body from an external environment or external stimulus. And what are some of the things or what are some of the ways in which the skin protects the body from the external stimulus? We said it, it, it protects from a touch. When I come near you or when we are walking and I touch you, you can feel it. If you don't want me to touch you, you withdraw your hand. That means you are responding. But if you, if you still want me to touch you, you can still leave your hand there. So that means you are able to respond to the stimulus of a touch. Another thing also we, we say that you are able to respond to pain. When somebody gives you a prick or somebody slaps you, you don't still stand there and allow, uh, uh, and allow the person to give you another slap. You have to move. That means you are still responding to the external stimulus. Heat. When there is a fire around you, okay, and the fire is, is hot, you have to move. You don't still stay in that place. You move from the fire. So that's what you said. You are responding to, uh, to the heat. And when the place is also cold, like you put ice block on the palm of your hand. And this ice block is, is really, really cold. You don't still leave your hand there, unless and until you want your hand to, be, to become stiff. Another point, we said, the skin protects the body from dangerous effects of what the ultraviolet rays. And we talk about the UV rays. We said these UV rays, sometimes people destroy their melanin, the malfusion layer, where the melanin is located. And when you, put, when you destroy this melanin, the rays from the sun comes directly to your skin. And the melanin should be the one that's supposed to, to prevent these things. But it cannot. So uh, later or gradually, you finally develop what you call a skin cancer. And also we said uh, the skin also protects us mechanically. Okay? Like, like for instance, if somebody wants to start with your, your delicate organ or the visceral organs, so some of these visceral organs, they are found in the abdomen or the pelvis or the, or the, the chest region. And when you want to do that, it is being stopped, like the skin will take the first, the first punch before it reaches to the other organs. So the skin is protecting what? Me uh, mechanically. And also, bacteria and what? And viruses. The skin, when you don't have a coat, the skin protects you, uh, the skin protects you from what? A division of what bacteria and some invasion of what, some of these viruses. But when the skin is open, it's caught open, these bacteria and these viruses, they can easily come and, in, and, what, and live there and they can cause you what inhaled. The skin also protects our bodies from excessive loss of water during strenuous exercise or activities. Our body tends to lose a lot of water. So the skin there helps to go to work to prevent the loss of an excessive, excess water. We said the skin also helps in the production of vitamin D. When you are exposed to the, to the sun, or when you, are exposed to, uh, when you are exposed to the sun, the skin helps to produce what? Vitamin, vitamin D. And also the skin helps to regulate body temperature, how cool or hot, and in the thermal regulation, some of the activities of enzymes in our bodies is being regulated by the, uh, the skin. And to sum up all, the skin acts as a, an excretory organ. It serves as a, an excretory organ. And we said the, the other part was, let's briefly describe three ways in which we can care for our skin. So now, the ways that in which we can care for our skin, we scared like the skin color. We should always avoid damaging our skin. 
like when we are exposing our skin to what to a, a plant of cosmetic materials or bleaching cosmetic materials these materials will peel off or the top layers of our skin so that's your we just need to, uh, to care for our skin another thing is also when we are bathing we should bath regularly and also uh, we use sponge we don't use you don't need to, uh, to use this hard brush okay so we bath regularly to keep our skin in a good shape and also we said our nails should always be kept short at all times we should try and keep our nails short at all times and for those who can care for their hair you wash it you treat it and you comb it gently but those who cannot it's better you keep a low cut of your hair so that you know you cannot have it will not be a place for heart a habitat for harboring some of these microorganisms like bacteria, the leech or the lice, all these things, the lice will come and not in, invade there. Avoid sharing of clothes. When you use clothes and they are dirty, you clean them and iron them. That is more preferable. So today we are moving to the liver. Okay? We say the liver the largest visceral organs of the body. What do you mean by visceral organs? We say these visceral organs, they are found either in the chest, the thoracic, or the, ab or the pelvis. And these ones, they are internally, they are internally formed. And in the, the liver is the largest one. And the, their cells are called hepatocyte cells. Okay? These cells, they help to, to supply blood two major types of heart vessel namely the hepatic artery and the hepatic portal vein these are the two blood vessels that supplies blood to the liver the hepatocytes uh, these are the cells of what of the the liver so now the, the hepatic artery brings oxygenated blood to the ureter that's, that is blood that's having oxygen, it brings it to the ureter. The hepatic portal vein is rich of what nutrients. This is, is a, is, it carries blood that is rich of what nutrients from the intestine. So now when you look at the kufa cell, these kufa cells, they are found also in the liver. And they help in you know, a phagocytosis. You know, like the liver what it, it, it does, it is responsible for production of what, of what bile. That is the bile pigment. And in the bile pigment, we have what the bilirubin. The bilirubin, it helps what in digesting of what bacteria and other foreign organisms in the body. Like for instance, this medication that you receive, like when, for, when you go to the hospital, like you are sick and you go to the hospital, the medication that you receive, it goes directly to what to the to the blood and then when it goes like for instance you they give an IV it goes directly into the blood and the first place of entry is what is the liver it's the liver that helps us to to act on that component like any form of disease that comes inside your bodies it goes to the liver so the liver is the first place that helps us to digest some of these bacteria and some of these foreign organisms okay we are looking at a, a general structure of what? Of the liver. Here we have from the right going to the left, we have the left hepatic dutch. This dutch, it, we said there are two main blood vessels in the liver. The hepatic portal vein and the hepatic artery. We said the artery that brings blood, oxygenated blood to the liver. Okay? And the hepatic portal vein takes blood to that is a rich of what nutrients takes it to the intestine so now the left hepatic dot this is the one it is connected like you see the if you look at the, the liver the, the something that looks like red reddish this the, the reddish structure is the liver and the, the other part that green is the gallbladder and the gallbladder it helps what in digestion of what fats or we, we say that emulsification of what fats and in the the, the liver helps in fighting some of these diseases that enters our body. 
Okay, that's the, that's what the liver does. So now, if you look at from the from down here, we have what the left the left arterial dot, the left hepatic dot. So now this left hepatic dot is contained with bile, and this bile it moves on to what the other part is the left lobe of the liver. The liver is divided into two. That is the right part and the left lobe. So this one, the small part is what is the left lobe, and then you have the right uh, hepatic dot, and then you also have what the right liver. We talk about the right and the left liver, and what the gallbladder. We say the gallbladder helps that to emulsify fat. So this is the structure of the liver, and what is the, what is the, the function of it is to, for what excretion, and we said it excretes the bile es emulsify fats. I'm going to look at some of the the functions of the. Of the liver. We said the liver is responsible for the destruction of the RBCs. You see, uh, the red blood cells, when they enter into the body, they have been attacked. They are, they are, the, the RBCs is a form of a hemoglobin, and the liver acts on this hemoglobin. It, destroy, it, it acts on the hemoglobin and breaks it into the hem and the globin. The globin, which is the protein component of the blood, is being converted or is being co converted to amino acids. And these amino acids it is used by the body. And the hem component, okay, which is being converted to what? To yellow pigment called the, the bellerubin. The bellerubin, when this bellerubin is being converted, is stored. An accumulation of this bellerubin in the blood produces what yellowing of the skin and eyes and which is a, a sign of a, a symptom of a, the disease of the liver which is called jaundice and this time like for instance when you see your your skin begins form somewhat yellow yellowish form so that is a skin disease and what do you need to do you, you have to go to the hospital and they will look at it give you the right medication the disease is called jaundice but you have to understand that the destruction of the RBCs, it occurs. And uh, when this RBCs has been destroyed, uh, the, the, the hemoglobin is broken down into two parts. That is the hem and the globin. The, the globin, which is, we said, which is the protein component, component part, is broken down to amino acids and it's been used. By the hem, it's acted by, it's, it produces a bile pigment, a green bile pigment. And this green bile pigment is further broken down into what bilirubin. This bilirubin, when excess of it is stored in the body, it produces yellowing of the skin and, and yellowing of the skin and eyes, which is a disease we call jaundice. Also, we also have what you call hexosugas. With hexosugas, we are still talking about the function of the skin. We said hexosugas. Hexosugars, these are six carbon or sugars, or these are monosaccharides of six carbon sugars. And these six carbon sugars, they are found in what? In the blood. And we said they are, these are, these glucose, they, they are glucose, galactose, and fructose. They are carried in the bloodstream and are absorbed by the liver and converted to, to glycogen. These hexosugars, like this glucose that we take in, and sometimes they tell us that, you know, eating too much sugar is not good for our system because we are exposing to, uh, our bodies to a lot of what, some situations like what you call diabetes. And this is what is being, an excretion, homeostasis is done that helps us to control or to, to, to maintain the, our sugar level in the, in the pancreas. Also, we also say that the liver cells remove lipids from the blood. This lip and then send it to, to the fat. You see, uh, like if you look at during the process of starvation, when our carbohydrates are finished, like we, we eat bread, we eat rice, and these things they produce a, uh, glucose. And when these carbohydrates are finished, these uh, uh, lipids that is stored in the adipose tissues is being utilized by the cell for to produce energy and also to give heat to the body during the process of what? Starvation. So now we also talk about amino acids. 
the, the function of the, the, the liver, we said amino acid that is arriving to the liver, or that's arriving to the liver via the portal vein, are stored out for protein synthesis. This amino acid, we said amino acid, like when you have the protein, you break it to amino acids. So these are small components of protein, and it's going to be absorbed by the body. And because when this thing is stored in the blood for protein synthesis, this amino acid. So this amino acid is being, that passed through what via the portal vein are stored for out for protein synthesis. The liver, act, the liver is an act, is active chemically. When what do you mean by is active chemically? Is so that it will produce amount of heat. The heat it helps out to maintain the body temperature. So during the activities of man, like you are going up and down, so the liver also helps out to regulate the, the, the hemostasis of the body. It helps out to regulate the temperature during the a result of a lot of what enzymatic activities in our bodies. We say the liver is responsible for detoxification of personal substances. Uh, like for instance, the drugs that we, 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 we are given, like if you are sick, you go to the hospital and you are given a drug, like either paracetamol or, or, or Amox. So these types of drugs, they are, the liver is the major organ, that's where it does the, the detoxification. It makes sure that all of some of those toxic substances are removed from the blood in the liver. So that's why sometimes, uh, People like to eat a lot of, like in the market, they, you see them, they go around, they want to buy a lot of liver, li uh, the people who used to sell liver. Sometimes it's, you don't know the condition in which that animal was before they, they killed that animal. So sometimes to be at a good side, if you can refrain yourself from eating some of these liver, liver foods, it will be helpful. Because sometimes some of these animals, when they are sick, the, the people, before, if they die, the, the person will lose everything. So they'll prefer to kill it before it die, and they'll take the meat and they'll use the meat and sell, so that they can at least they can generate something from there. But the, the liver condition of that animal you don't know. You are eating, and these things can easily affect you. So sometimes and you have to be at, to be very very care, uh, careful. Okay, and also we said the liver also there are some important. Uh, hormones or ions that are mineral, that are stored in the blood. Like during the process of uh, the function, when we look at the function of the nephron, we talk about ultrafiltration, selective reabsorption, and hormonal secretion. And in, during this process, we see some of these important ions are absorbed, are stored in the blood. We said, example like iron, these are some of the important iron and vitamins that are kept in the blood, like iron, copper, potassium, vitamin A and vitamin C. They are all found in the, in the blood. So before we move on to the hemostasis, we are, I have a question for you, which you are going to take as an assignment. When I come to the next class, we will look at it together. We said, list the excretory product of mammals and indicate where each product is formed. We said list the excretory products of the mammals and indicate where each product is formed. So this, we know we talk about excretory organs. That was the, my first lesson that we talked about when we started talking about this excretion. We talk about the excretory organs. But this time around, I want us to look at the excretory product of the mammals and indicate where each product is formed. Is that clear? So please, uh, I hope you will take this assignment seriously and the discussion. I just want to browse through the homeostasis. And uh, we said homeostasis is basically to ensure or it's a process that ensures a constant internal environment. It's a process that ensures a constant internal environment. How is this internal environment control? Is brought what to constant, or this thing is is being constant? Internal environment 
is we say the process to ensure the maintenance of a constant internal environment. We bring internal environment as a resource of a lot of what enzymatic reactions. We said the condition is necessary to ensure a chemical reaction occurs perfectly within acceptable limits. We see, like for instance, if you look at the pH, the pH of the body, the body needs to function at a particular pH, or like some of the other substances, some of these other enzymes need to need to, to function at a particular pH of the body. The pH it will help the enzymes whether they are going to perform well or whether they are going to reduce their their forms of what operation their forms of activity. Like for instance, if the body is cold, the, uh, the body is cold, the the hormones are going to be triggered. Okay, like the, in 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 the adipose tissues will try to uh, to help to generate a lot of heat for the body. So, but we said most of these chemical activities in the body systems are enzyme control. So all these activities, how do I send information to the hypothalamus? Like when you are feeling cold, when you are feeling hot, the hypothalamus is responsible and it will help to regulate this, uh, your body temperature to be at a minimum level. And also, we said hemostasis plays three important roles. Or what are the roles that it plays? Regulating the amount of water and mineral salts the water that is being in the body. When, like for instance, if the sun is hot, your body is, uh, the cells of your body begin to, uh, act, uh, the activities of the cells of the body begin to, uh, to perform. And the, the, the skin, which is the major excretory organ of the body, it will open up and a lot of water is what is being loose, released out to the external environment. So like when the place is cold, the skin will, will, will what, stop the openings of the, of the, of the air spores will be reduced and then will prevent it from what will prevent your skin from losing a lot of water so that's one of the things that it regulates and also as this water is coming out they come out with a lot of hot salts we said like in the nephron we said in the uh, the loop of henley we have the ascending loop and we also have what the descending loop and some of this salt is passed out in the what ascending loop and then also you have what you call the regulation of what the blood sugar the regulation of blood sugar, this one is done by what, the pancreas. The pancreas will produce an insulin. Like if the, if the sugar in the blood is, is too much, the pancreas will produce an insulin. Okay, this insulin will reduce the blood sugar. And, uh, and sometimes, some people who have too much blood sugars in their body, they, they hardly find a way of uh, treating this, this, this blood sugar in the body, which is a result of uh, diabetes. So sometimes, what they do, they will just try to, to reduce, to manage the conditions of that, of that patient. To, to be reducing the blood sugar, and if the blood sugar goes down, they have to, to increase it. So that is what you're talking about, what, regulation of what, the blood sugar in the body. And also, another part is what, regulation of what, body temperature. So, this is what we just discussed, and I hope it is helpful. And you can also read more on this hemostasis. I think these three, these three points I give you, it will help you to have a general understanding about how the body systems or how the homeostasis is, is done. I was your teacher, Mr. Samuel Mende. Thank you. Until I come your way again.